Yeah, thank you. Uh, tough, well-played game on both teams. Uh, Boa Shani at Dartmouth does a very good job. Awesome facility there, uh, close to 2,000 people, so it was a really good environment. Um, really played well, probably deserved to win the game with out shooting him 20 to 6, um, but we're kind of struggling with both ends. In the middle of the field, we're really good controlling the game, but we've got to do a better job of keeping the ball out of the net, and then obviously maybe popping in another one or two, but they're coming, we're creating good chances, so um, we're getting there with a lot of new faces, and with a lot of new faces, I think the offense takes a little more time, but um, we're kind of running out of time, and so we've got to really focus on a good Western Michigan team. Chad Wiseman, the head coach, he's from the St. John's area, does a great job. They'll be pretty direct. Um, I think they're three and two in the year, and they're always fired up to come to East Lansing and, and play. So we'll have to be ready, but hopefully with a Friday night, seven o'clock, um, good crowd, get the Rowdies back in action, and we're, we're really looking forward to this regional rivalry. Got a lot of history to it. Jamie, uh, a Western team that I think has the last four. Mr. Soccer from Michigan. How do you prepare for kind of like a, a, a sort of star-studded lineup like that? Yeah, the, the whole Mr. Soccer thing's changed a little bit with when you look at the academy system and a lot of the uh, players that come to our program don't play high school soccer, so they're not eligible for for uh, Mr. Soccer. Um, so it's a little bit deceiving, but Chad does a really good job of finding uh, players that um, are eager to play and that can compete at any level, and, and they certainly have those guys there this year. So um, he does a great job, and we'll have to be ready. They will be be fired up and uh, it'll be a very tough game. You don't appear to be overly outwardly frustrated. Are you hiding it? Well, you know what, I think uh, we've got a lot of new faces and I, I just, um, you know, I think the players are frustrated at times and so are we, but I think we're determined. So I, hopefully this is my determined look, maybe not my frustrated look. And, I think you know our goal. One of our main goals was to win the Big Ten, and you know we're we're still uh, zero and zero there. And these these two games against uh, Western Michigan and, and Notre Dame will will help prepare us for that. Western Michigan definitely will, and so we want to get get uh, get things right. And I do I don't think we're far off. I mean I think it's one of those if we can flip it um, in a game or two and get some confidence, I think this team can really get going. But it's tricky sometimes with sports like soccer and, and hockey. So. Uh, this is my determined look, and I think our players are determined to get to get going again. Um, you said you're really close to, to a lot of these games have been, you know, just one goal or, or ties. What do you think is that thing that's going to change it and flip it the other way? I just think we got to see the, you know, first score first. I think that the team that scores first in college soccer wins close to 80% of the game. So we haven't really scored first. That's one of the goals we always want to do. Um, so if we could get that going, we had a couple chances to do that. Uh, Saturday night in uh, Hanover, um, so that'll be a, an emphasis for us Friday night, um, and just get a little momentum. I think once you win a couple of these close games, uh, I think the pressure takes off a little bit, and the guys get the confidence that they can win these close environments. Um, in honor of the Champions League kicking off today, do you support any of the teams that are in it, and if you don't, who are you backing to win? Manchester United is my team, but I don't know if that's really a great pick to start. Um, Barcelona is always hard to uh, hard to go against, but uh, I think Liverpool and Klopp is my like emotional favorite. I just love the way he coaches, the way he relates to players, the way he inspires and, and, pa and, and passions them to uh, to compete. And uh, he's a fun guy to, to be around. So hopefully on uh, Friday night, our guys will play like giants to quote with the club. Thanks, guys. See you Friday.